Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Everyone. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. My name is Elijah and we have some really interesting details that have actually come out in discussion about the upcoming Morbius movie and the general Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now what's really interesting is fans have been analyzing all of the previous Spider-Man movies to see if maybe there were some hints along the way for characters like Venom or Morbius that maybe have been hidden throughout the first two films starring Tom Holland. Now it looks like like there is now a speculation turning into the possibility that Morbius is in fact hidden in the very first Spider-Man movie of the MCU, Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, if you look at the post credit scene where we see the vulture and you kind of see what he's up to after the events of the first Spider-Man movie, in the background, there's a character that very much resembles the appearance of that of Morbius for this upcoming movie. Now, it is very unlikely that this person in the background is in fact Jerry. Jared Leto, as we don't really know if he was on set to film all that, all of those years back when they were first planning the future there. However, it is very possible that when they were looking back at their old footage and they were choosing what the appearance for Morbius would look like, or maybe they wanted to hide a character that will look similar to what one day Morbius would look like, they went ahead and set it up that way. Mind you, this post credit scene was supposed to set up some sort of story down the road that obviously is connected directly to Morbius, so it's not impossible to think there was some planning and attention the detail ahead of time but when looking at these still images it does look very similar to Jared Leto in the trailer for Morbius. Now also another similarity here of course is that this post credit scene features the vulture and we see this connection to the vulture and Morbius in the upcoming movie trailer so it is very possible that there is in fact some direct connection and this could in fact be canon. Now we don't know for sure if Morbius spent time in prison and that's going to be something that has to be explored even more in the future of the movie when it comes out, of course. However, it is a really interesting thing that has been really picked apart here. This also isn't the first time either that we've seen Sony hide characters in movies. In Spider-Man Far From Home, we actually see Jake Gyllenhaal's character, Mysterio, hidden in the background of a scene along with all of the other people who make up part of the Mysterio team, hidden in the background following Tom Holland earlier in the movie. So it definitely is something that they do pay attention to when they're shooting these shots. There's no real coincidences here. They choose who are the extras and background characters whenever they're filming anything in a movie that is this high budget and every little detail will be scrutinized and will be picked apart. And it's really cool to see the attention to detail that they have here as well. But we wanted to know what you guys think. Do you think it's a really cool possibility if that has been Morbius this whole time in the background of Spider-Man Homecoming? Or do you think it's just a coincidence and maybe not something that was necessarily connected connected to Morbius, but people are just drawing comparisons because of the similarity. Let us know what you think and be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hi, I'm about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> 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 see you guys.